Hey, it's Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on YouTube, and this video is part five of my Peplum Cardigan video sew along. So I've opened up the sleeve area, okay? I'm gonna take my sleeve and find the one that lays so that when you put it with the pretty side facing down on top of your fabric, the notches match. So you see I have a double notch here and this is a double notch. So this is going correctly. On the other side, I only have a single notch, okay? And I have a single notch here. So this is the one that goes on this side. You just work your way around because we're gonna have to ease this curve into this one while we're sewing, but it's a lot easier to do it like this than to stitch up the sleeve in a tube and try to insert it. This is your first time doing it. Go ahead and try this technique, okay? I'm just gonna work my way around here and place some pins, matching up this curve here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll ease it in once you start doing it on the sewing machine. But then we're gonna flip this around and come around this way as well. Now as you can imagine, we're gonna head over to the sewing machine. We're gonna use our 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and the stretch stitch and stitch this into place. No worries if you're a beginner, watch me do it and I bet you, you will be able to do it too if you just give it a try. So now this is about taking your time, going slowly and making sure there's no fabric bunching up underneath while you're sewing. And keeping an eye on your seam allowance, okay? Take out some pins. You can pull on your fabric a little bit if you need to get it to fit. Now I'm gonna do the same thing we did at the shoulder seams, which is stitch a quarter of an inch in from that first stitch line, and then we'll go back and trim close to the second line of stitching. Now we're ready to press our sleeve, okay? I've sewn everything up. Now we want a nice curve here. So we are going to put it over a tailor's hem. This is a tailor's hem. I actually made this one myself, so it's not that cute. It was my first try, but it still works. And now I'm pressing it on my tailor's hem. Looks nice. I wanted to put it on this dress form just so you can start to see how it's coming together. Shoulders, you see how it slopes nicely. The sleeves here haven't been finished, but this is obviously gonna be sewn here and sewn here. The shoulders have a nice finish to them. So you can see that you're starting to get a little cardigan now, just with these few simple steps. Let's put it right side facing up so we can stitch up the sides. This side goes here. So you're stitching the side to the side and then the sleeve at the same time gets folded in half so we can close it up to make an actual sleeve. Now pin or use your clips all the way up the side. We have single notches here so make sure those match. 
definitely want to match these underarm seams here. Put one seam going one direction, one to the other direction so it can reduce some bulk. Okay, I have double notches here. Alright, so that's one side, you can see the sleeve and then down the side of the cardigan. And let me do that on the other side so I can stitch them all up at once. So we're going to stitch just like we've been doing, stitch at the 5 8 inch with the stretch stitch, then stitch inside another quarter of an inch and then trim away the excess. Okay, so now get excited because it's starting to look like something, right? We're going to do it together. So let's put this aside and let's grab our number, what, three and four pieces. Now I know both of these have the pretty side facing up. Find the double notches, where was it? Right here on this side and right here on this one. So now the number four piece, which is the longer peplum for the back, this one has double notches on both sides. So you can see, this is the pretty side, this is the pretty side. I'm gonna match double to double. So this is gonna be pinned or clipped across here. This one goes the same way. The double notch goes to, where is it? The This double notch. So flip that, pretty sides are touching. So now we're gonna go to the sewing machine and stitch here. And here, the same way we've been doing, 5 eighths of an inch, again, a little bit in from that edge, and then trim away the excess. Okay, so our peplum has been sewn up. You see right down here, this is open. So this is the pretty side of it. That's how it's going to be. Now we're going to stitch the body to the peplum. So here it is. This is the back, so we know that this is going from here to here. And then this is the front, so this goes from here to here. Now we'll stitch this into place the same way we've done all our other seams. So far so good. Now as you can see that the bottom edge here is unfinished and this is something that you can leave like this if you want to. I'm probably still going to finish it but if you're too afraid of tackling um, hemming a peplum which can be a little bit tough and it just takes a little bit of time then you may consider leaving it just like this since a knit is not going to fray or unravel on you. And that's it for part five. I hope you'll join me next week for the last video in the series where we'll cover how to hem the peplum, making and attaching the neckband part. We'll stitch it all together and finally finish off by measuring our sleeves and then hemming the sleeves for the finished peplum cardigan. If you enjoyed the video, hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and thanks again for watching. See you next week. Bye.